In 9 seconds, South Tower struck the ground. North Tower after 11 seconds. Each tower having 110 floors, each floor was being crushed in less than a tenth of a second. In other words, in a blink of an eye. So what caused the Twin Towers collapse? Sure, many conspiracy theories exist with the most common that towers were destroyed through controlled demolition, but guys, we're gonna examine could the towers collapse from airplane impacts, from something our own eyes could see. September 11 was a primary day with very bright and beautiful morning. George W. Bush was visiting elementary school, Larry Silverstein, owner of the World Trade Center complex, skipped a breakfast meeting on the North Tower due to medical appointment, and Michael Jackson had overslept the meeting he was supposed to attend atop the World Trade Center. Towers were at less than half their full occupancy with about 9,000 people in each building. American Airlines Flight 11 hit the North Tower between 93rd and 99th floors. In the South Tower, public address system told occupants to evacuate if they wanted. Express elevator at the Sky Lobby on the 78th floor was the quickest way to escape the building. Twin Towers had one of the fastest express elevators in the world, which took around 30 seconds to get from 78th floor to the lobby. Use of elevators saved around 3,000 lives in South Tower before the second impact. The second plane slammed into South Tower between the 77th and 85th floors. The power went off, elevators exploded or got stuck, and doors were jammed in twisted frames so people couldn't even escape their own offices. In the North Tower, all three staircases were impassable for anyone above the 91st floor. In the South Tower, only one staircase was available for people above the impact zone. Narrow stairwells were overcrowding that were only 112 centimeters wide. People closest to the impacts knew the seriousness of the situation, but those below on barely damaged floors weren't aware what was even happening and delayed their evacuation. People had only limited information on which to base their decisions. 200 people were climbing toward the roof, unaware that roof door is locked. Outside, the situation was surrealistic. Helicopters couldn't attempt rescues from the roof due to dense clouds. While people were escaping the towers, 343 brave firefighters went up the stairwells carrying heavy equipment on their shoulders. People in the South Tower had 56 minutes to evacuate, in the North Tower, 102 minutes. Firefighters quickly became aware that it's impossible to put out the fire at such a height and rather focused on rescuing people. Towers had the specific building codes that excluded few safety measures, so towers could achieve its height of 1368 feet. That's the size of 17 tennis courts. For fireproofing, 3700 sprinkles were installed in two buildings but having little to no effect on 9-11. Sprinkles couldn't decrease the fire as the water above the impact zone turned to steam from such a high temperature. Each airplane carried little less than a half of its full capacity of 23,980 gallons of fuel. As the time passed, jet fuel burned from 800 to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 1,000 Celsius degrees. Tower steel frames started to lose structural strength. It is estimated that the steel will lose half its strength at 1200 Fahrenheit and the heat inside the towers reached 1800 degrees, significantly weakening the floors and columns. Steel columns bended and allowed the floors above the impact zone to come down crashing each floor below, a process known as pancaking. South Tower collapsed first because the plane hit the corner of the building where there is more structural support. If any other building was hit by airplane carrying around 11,000 gallons of fuel, the result also could have been catastrophic. In 1945, B-25 Mitchell Bomber crashed into Empire State Building that didn't collapse from the impact. However, Mitchell Bomber can carry only around 670 gallons of fuel compared to planes on 9-11 that carried around 11,000 gallons of fuel. It is also important to note that Twin Towers were primarily a lightweight steel structure. Some people believe that towers wouldn't have collapsed if their core columns were reinforced concrete instead of steel as structural steel is less resident to fire than reinforced concrete. 
North Tower collapsed 46 minutes after the South Tower. Apparently, terrorists hit the buildings at their weakest spot. Nabih Youssef said that it's like hitting someone at the back of the knee. However, there could be one more reason for North Tower collapsing second. Except fire sprinkles for fireproofing, 400 tons of asbestos was contained in the North Tower. But asbestos did nothing but harm people. Collapse of the towers released huge amount of pluralized hazardous materials across Lower Manhattan. More than 500,000 people were exposed to the toxic dust. As of 2021, 24,000 people had been diagnosed with 9-11 related cancer. It is believed that popular singer Donna Summer died from lung cancer caused by dust from 9-11. Originally, towers were supposed to contain 5,000 tons of asbestos. This would have result release of 9 times more hazardous material across Lower Manhattan and as of 2021, instead of 24,000 people, around 300,000 people could have been diagnosed with 9-11 related cancer. But some people believe that if 5,000 tons of asbestos was contained in the World Trade Center, people would have had much more time to escape the towers because it would take much longer for buildings to come down. This fact could be true if 400 tons of asbestos in the North Tower was one of the reasons North Tower collapsed second. 20 years has passed since 9-11 since 3,000 innocent people perished. 9-11 teached us to build safer buildings and national security experts say that the United States is now much less vulnerable to international terrorism than it was when New York and Pentagon went struck. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it educational and learned something new.